Hey guys, welcome to Planning with Crystals. So my Erin Condren launch day order for 2020 or to 2021 has arrived. It includes the daily duo and lots of other goodies. So we're gonna go through everything and take a look and see what I got. And I'll give you my first impressions of the daily duo. If you're new to Erin Condren and you wanna get $10 off your first order, check out the link under the video. If you use that link when signing up for your Erin Condren account, you will be emailed $10 off your first order. So let's get into the order. So it's arrived a little bit um, mishmashed, but to be fair, it's come all the way from the US to the UK. So, you know, what do you expect? So there's this little rainbow card here from Erin Condren, and it says at the end of the storm is a rainbow, and there's a nice little note there from Erin Condren and some of her team, um, just to sort of say that everyone's thinking of you and stuff like that. Uh, I think that might actually be her family on there. Then we have got a little sort of newspaper almost it's got 20 percent off your next order um and it's got all kinds of little articles and things from different members of the team um i really like it actually because it's got all sorts of tips for writing in your planner different ways of doing things and it's also got this rather exciting thing in the middle which is a lot of the new products that are going to be coming to um for the back to school uh, sort of section of the website and it mentions again about 20 percent off which is valid till the first of september and it shows you like i said sneak peeks of lots of new goodies hopefully everybody will be going back to school by um by that time so Let's hope so. And then there's a little bit about heroes and then on the back, a little bit more about some various charities and things that are going on um, in connection with Aaron Condren. And look at this, Hello Kitty coming soon. That's exciting. And there's some little bits and pieces there, some little um, things from the planet community. Yeah, that's a nice little touch. So let's see what I got in my order. So, like I said, I got the Daily Life Planner Duo, and as part of this, you get a cover on each of the planners, then you also get this card, which includes a code on the back to get your next cover for free. And this is valid for like a year, so next time I place an order, I can get a different cover, personalised and for free. So that's a pretty good deal. Then I've picked up three of the Snap-in bookmarks. I've used these before, and I like them a lot for marking my place in my life planner and these are the new um layers design and this is what they look like on the back just three different colors like that kind of stuck in and um, so i picked those up and i'll link everything under the video along with the prices and stuff so if there's anything you see in here that you want to pick up and um, it'll be linked under the video this is one of the new sticker books it's the um layered sticker book yeah sticker book layers it's called it says a gorgeous collection of over 525 colorful and mixed metallic stickers and let me just show you this in comparison to a normal Erin Condren sticker book so this is one of the normal Erin Condren sticker books for want of a better phrase it's a different size altogether put that on the front you can see it's a little bit shorter and not as wide so this has got 12 pages in as well so we are just getting um a little bit less stickers i guess which is a bit of a shame but these things happen the size however is probably a little bit better for putting in um the folios and things anyway let's uh let's have a look through the stickers so you can see the different metallic -y colors going on there these are the washi stickers so they're literally stickers that are printed onto um, a washi tape sort of material the only issue with that is that um the super kind of fragile really because washi tape itself is pretty fragile so you certainly wouldn't be able to like reposition them or anything after using them they're quite difficult to get off the back in here let me see There we go. So that was quite difficult to actually get off the back in. But you can see that they are really quite um, thin. Just if you were kind of wondering what they are like. Loving these little flags and I like these little um, 
to do and love and stuff little circles they're cute oh i like these so these are, are these like the see-through type or they're like they're almost like a vinyl sticker oh but they're like vinyl but sort of see-through look at that they're cool I like those and they're quite they feel quite thick so they're the complete opposite really of the uh, washi tape ones because they feel really quite sturdy and they're on um it's not card but it's like a thicker sort of page um, and I, I love these love them i love the amicondron stickers anyway who doesn't they do excellent stickers and these are the kind of see-through ones again almost on like a vinyl -y type thing and these are so cool so i love the fact that they've included all these weekend stickers got to love celebrating the weekend um, and then we've got more flags and those types of flags too and little notes of self and little hearts and then we've got washi strips and coordinating little dots and a few more quotes and stuff so there's not a major amount of quotes and um, there's just those on the front and this one on the back so if you're into the quote stickers there isn't that many um, but there's a lot more kind of useful stickers i'd say really so like that a lot I picked this up as well. So this is the binder hole punch. Now, if you've watched one of my other videos, you'll know I do have the binder. And this is literally a um, a hole punch that they brought out, which I'm really pleased to see. So it says, pop papers, photos, and more into your Erin Condren binder planner with our exclusive binder hole punch. Designed to fit into your binder rings, punch one page at a time, anytime. The great thing about this is that you're not sort of stuck with just using um, the binder things that you can buy from Erin Condren. You can like, do your own pages and stuff so this is my binder um for example in order to put things in here i bought these little wallets from erin condren so that you can like keep stuff in here um otherwise obviously you, with it being the certain size of rings you wouldn't necessarily be able to um find a hole punch that would do them like this because they are very different and these pages i purchased from erin condren but with the hole punch i should be able to punch standard paper um and then either cut it down or buy the size that fits in here and then i'll be able to add my own kind of notes pages and stuff so i really like that idea let's just see how it works so i've just taken the wrapper off so it just sort of flips open like this so if i sort of line it up like that and then just pop it in So what you do is you just slide the paper in so it just goes under those clips and then you just push it down like that. And then open and slide out. Of course it's not a hole punch that has anywhere to store the little holes. You are going to end up with little holes. Um, but the holes that are punched through are going to end up kind of all over the place but it is what it is. Um, but then it will mean that if you've got photographs or like if I'm at work and I get given certain paperwork I need to keep, I can hole punch it and I can put it there in my planner. Obviously this page is too big, but it's just to sort of give you an idea. And then the hole punch itself can live in the planner as well. Um, so you can close it like that so nothing's sticking up and nothing's going to get broken. Um, and you can just obviously put it on the rings, have it with you when you're out and about, and then whenever you get something you need to put in there, you can hole punch it and do it. So I really like that. That's a really nice touch. Um, I kind of wish they did one of these for the standard life planner so that you could like cut out these sorts of sizes and push them in as you know something. I wish they did something like that, and hopefully they will in the future. Um, but that's a nice, a nice option. And as part of the order that I placed on launch day, they were including this clutch, which has got this big zipper and sort of leather look strap at the top. And it's just a see-through clutch. I like that it's quite soft and sort of almost jelly-like. It's not um, it's not stiff or anything, so I like that. And that'll be kind of handy for keeping some supplies and stuff in. And it's just called Layers of Organisation Clutch. And it's just something they've given away free when you um, ordered on launch day so like that i picked up the new interchangeable pens i've shown these in a previous video actually so i got this little set in the 
think it was a spring surprise box um, and this is these sort of pens that come with a barrel and you can like mix and match them and stuff so i've ordered the whole kit and you get all these colors here on the back you get um four highlighters six medium tips three fine tips and two barrels then the idea is you can just use the barrel to mix and match the actual pens that you want with you at any one time and all the barrels seem to be the exact same color scheme which is a shame i'd like to have seen some kind of different ones but um it is what it is hopefully they'll bring out some more designs in the future but i really like this idea it reminds me of those like push-up pens that you get as a child anybody remembers them but this is what they're like and you get all these different ones in the kit which is a full range of what they do right now and so how this works you get your little barrel and you say okay i'm gonna need a fine tip so i'm gonna put a fine tip screw it in place there oh and i also need a highlighter and then just quite simply screw it in there and then they stay in place you can pull them and they're not going to fall out and then they are the perfect um little double pen that you can take with you and if you know you're not going to be needing anything like a highlighter you're just going to need like a couple of fine tips because to be fair the fine tips are my favorite uh, ones i'd rather that have included some more fine tips i prefer writing with them rather than the mediums but um so i'd just perhaps look at taking two different colored fine tip pens with me and interestingly enough all the colors have included are colors there aren't there is no sort of simple black or anything um, not an issue, I like the colour, but uh, just an observation. And then finally, the most exciting bit. So one thing to note with this, they don't come with the storage box that you get with a standard life planner. Um, not a big issue, I'm not really too flustered with managed years without them. And you can buy the boxes separately. But I think because the size is almost the size of a normal life planner, they wouldn't fit in there anyway. So how this works, everybody gets, um, when you order this planner, it comes in separated into two six month sections. The second six month section will only come with this, oh, it's the wrong way around, will only come with this plain colorful layers cover. Um, and same on the back, just blank, just plain. You can't personalize it, that is all it is. The first one, the first six months, you get to choose your cover, you get to personalize it included in the cost. I've just gone for a matching cover, but you can choose from a few different ones if you want to. So we're gonna go through and look at them all, but just to kind of compare with my standard life planner, this is my standard life planner. Obviously I've got a few things clipped in there, so do bear that in mind. And this is the six month. Now, because the six month is daily, and this one has got like a week on two pages, it's pretty much the same size. I mean, it is slightly smaller, the six month one, six month yearly planner, but you've got, to, it's not gonna be massively different despite the fact that there's only six months in there because it's daily. The rings are um, a slightly different size. So this is the standard yearly. This is the um, six month one, slightly bigger, wider rings on there. So you get the snap-on ruler like you normally do and you've got your vellum cover. So this is the colourful layers. So I've got it July to December. You can also get it just 2021 but I kind of wanted to start using it sooner. So you've got your kind of goal setting page here and then you've got May to December 2020 and some lines at the bottom and then you've got all of 2021 which I like because then even though it's only six months at a time you've got access to the whole of the year and the whole of next year if you want to be looking ahead at any dates. So then we've got Find Beauty in the Everyday July 2020 and the great thing is it goes straight into your monthly view which wasn't the case with the uh, yearly life planner last year so um the way it actually works last year this is this is july of last year so you would turn the tab and it would just take you into this page and then you would have the monthly view 
Whereas actually it's just nicer to be able to go straight to your monthly view. Most people prefer that. I like um, this sort of design here at the top with the layers. Then you're going into again your page and your monthly view. Very, very similar to what I've just shown you from last year. And then you've got your daily view and this is so exciting to me. So you've got, it's almost like the hourly in that it's timed. So we've got here from 6 a.m. to 7 p.m. and then the space here for you to write um, another hour or whatever you want to write there. There are two lines for each hour. There's a little monthly view calendar sort of thing there and a to-do list and then a blank section there at the bottom. And this of course repeats for every day. When you get to the weekend, it splits itself into two Saturday and Sunday. So these are much smaller, not houred, uh, not, you know, doesn't have the hours or anything on, just literally space to write notes or to-do lists or whatever you want. And then there's this blank section and another calendar there. Because most people aren't going to need as much space at the weekend. Depends what your working hours are like and what you do at the weekend. So it continues like this with this blue colour scheme for all of July. Then when you get to the end of July, you've then got this page. Then you are onto August. Trust the timing of your life. So here's August and it's yellow. And then this page and then this page. The colours have stayed the same as previous years. Then you've got the 31st. So because the Friday of July fits better here, that's what they've decided to do. So don't be alarmed, you're not missing a page. It just sits within August, they've done this before. So then you're into the weekend. Everything's laid out exactly the same, but with a yellow colour scheme. Then again, right at the end of the month, we are into blank page. September, you are beautiful, capable and worthy. And your nice purple colour scheme again. And then you've got an August page and your, you've got all your September purples going throughout. Blank page and then October, everything comes to you at the right time, October 2020. And we're into the orange colour scheme. And we've got our September page there. And then orange, orange, orange. Throughout the month. Then we have just got the blank page again. And November. Be thankful, be grateful, be hopeful. Monthly view. Blank. Well, it's not blank, it's lined, but you know what I mean. This page. And then we've got a couple here of October pages. This is funny. So we've actually got the colour of October and then November together on the same page. So that's uh, interesting. But again, just replicates what they've done before. All the blues of November. Then we are into December. The world is better with you in it, for sure. Monthly view in green these pages and then we have got November, December and the nice green colour for December and that kind of goes on throughout the whole of the book. Then we've got two lined pages so not as many note pages as previous books but I think that's just simply because we are trying to reduce the size of the books uh, when it gets to six months they don't want the books obviously to be too big because that might defeat the object. So then we are into stickers and these are the stickers they've put in this month. We've got this page, we've got this page, there's some gorgeous stickers on here. We've got the kind of happy birthday celebration type page. Then we have got the flag type things in different colours with this little sort of metallic silver line on it. So great for kind of putting the hour and then time of your appointment or whatever that's the way they've done it this year and then we have got a pocket i just love this color scheme so it's got a standard pocket then it's got a pocket again on this side and then you've got your perpetual calendar which we've had in previous years which is just quite simply if you've not seen it before a kind of whole month on a page great for writing in birthdays or important dates or people do all kinds of things with them then they've got all the holidays dates and important contacts there at the back so we're still getting one of those so that one was july to december 2020 so this one is january to june 
So again, we've got a ruler, we've got a vellum cover, January to June 2021, we've got the goal setting page, we've got um, January to June 2021, then we've got all of 2022. Wherever you are, be all there, January 2021, and this is the colour scheme for January. And we're starting on New Year's Day, January the 1st here, going throughout the month. And then again, back to this. So February, do it with all your hearts. There is the month of February, these two pages again, and straight into your daily planning and your two days on one page for the weekend. And it follows throughout the month. Then March, change your thoughts and change the world. This nice kind of light green colour. And again, daily planning. And then April, create your own sunshine. And we've got the last day here of March and then we're into April. And then May, good things are coming, keep believing. Especially important with what's going on in the world at the moment, I'd say. So then we've got the end of April and we're into May and that follows throughout with this colour scheme. Then we're on to June. The way you speak to yourself matters. Absolutely. So monthly view, these ones again, and then we're into the daily planning with all of the month in that colour scheme. So each page, even though it is the colour, the colourful edition, is not majorly colourful. Obviously, if you look at it, it's very simple. The two lines in colour, everything else is black, apart from that little tiny asterisk there. But that's fine because a lot of people like to decorate and stuff. So it's up to you to decide whether you're kind of happy with that. But there we go. End of June. Then we've got the 1st of July just to finish it off. And then we're into our two lined pages as in the other book. And then we've got four more pages of stickers, the same as the others. So you're actually getting with this planner twice the amount of sticker pages as you would have got normally in just a standard life planner. Pocket there, pocket there. And that's that. Like I said, you get this card as well to get a free personalised cover on a future order. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this unboxing. I'd love it if you'd give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to make sure you don't miss any more of my unboxings. What do you think of the Daily Life Planner Duo? Which planner will you be using this year? Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys.